What is up everybody? I hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. So recently I found what is probably my new favorite handgun mod and we're going to show that to you. And it is the HK P30L. This thing is fantastically done. It has a lot that I really like about it. There's a few little drawbacks but we'll get into those as we come to it. So to start off, I really like the aesthetic of this pistol. It looks very nice, it's very clean. Uh, there's a lot of little details such as the small scuffs. I like all of the like rubber on the pistol grip. It looks really nice. I like the higher detail to that. And, and there's a lot of really nice details such as you can look down the barrel here and you can actually see that there is rifling designed into it. Kind of see that there, hopefully it's zoomed in enough to see, but I think that's really cool. It's not something I really noticed before. I really like the sights. Uh, the glow sights are probably my favorite style. And there's a reasonable amount of attachments for this. Nothing too crazy, but we'll show you that after we go through shooting it. And let's get into that. Alright, so here it is. A nice drawing animation. I really like that. I like the way it's held in the hands. It's not just like forced way out in front of your character like you're, you know, just sticking it out as far as you can, pointing with it. I, I like the more ready stance with it. And the ADS is pretty smooth. The sights are very clear. It does look like the front sight post hovers a little bit lower than it should, which, you know, isn't a big deal, especially as far as gameplay goes. It doesn't matter at all, but it does look clear and it works just fine. And we'll go through shooting it. As you can see, the reload animation is fantastic. I, I really like this reload animation. It's very crisp, it sounds nice. Everything about it, as far as I can think of, is correct. I mean, obviously that's an empty mag reload, but overall I really like the way it looks. I really appreciate the detail in the animation there. It's very crisp and it, it just feels very satisfying. And I do like that it's not like crazy slow or like super sped up. I like that it's a nice reasonable speed for being able to reload a handgun. I also very much like that you can fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. It doesn't have any kind of a fire rate lock on it. So you can basically just spam the button and fire as fast as you can, which not that I do very much, but I do appreciate that the fire rate can keep up with you know, clicking and trying to shoot. I do really dislike how some guns, especially pistols, I found have like a, I don't know, an invisible lock on the rate of fire. So you end up, no matter how fast you push it, it's just stuck to a certain fire rate. And I like that this can do it as fast as you can. It just makes it feel a lot more clean and very nice. But so far, I really like this gun. I, I love the aesthetic. I like how it shoots. I like how it feels, I like how it sounds, and even though it really doesn't have a whole lot of customization, it's definitely a super cool sidearm that I've really been enjoying using. But we'll go ahead and now go through and show you the little customization there is before wrapping up. Alright, so here we have it. So it has a couple receivers, kind of like vanilla guns, so you can upgrade the damage and accuracy and all that fun stuff. It has barrels, though they don't visually change anything, but it, you know, kind of like vanilla, it changes the range, the accuracy, and the weight, so you can change that like you would normally. There is only two magazines, the standard 15 round and the quick reload, which I'm actually curious if that changes much besides the speed, so before we do anything else, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so here's with the speed reload. All right, so it actually changes animation. That is really cool. I really appreciate that. That's a very fun detail. So changing the magazine actually changes what reload animation you use. That's something I love. All right, and then here's my biggest issue with it, which is the muzzle brakes. There is only the three options, uh, none, the John Wick style, and a suppressor but it isn't a big deal this one is okay obviously it's 
you know, a little wonky. Doesn't quite match up to the gun, but that's just the nature of how the barrel is set up here and the slide and all that. But this one isn't bad. In fact, I'll go ahead and slap that on now. But the main one I don't care for is the suppressor. Usually I like suppressors, but I don't know if you've seen it already, but it could just be the way it looks because of the shape of the pistol. But it looks like the suppressor kind of angles up a ways, and it just, I don't know, it, it doesn't quite feel right. And even here, it, it looks like it points up and away a little bit, which, again, it's really not a big deal. I just find that a little bit wonky looking. So I doubt I would really use the suppressor very much. The compensator here doesn't seem to do that at all, really. So I, I definitely don't mind this one, and if I were to use one of these muzzle brakes, it would definitely be this one. And then there is some different underbarrel flashlights and laser stuff you can use, along with a close quarters combat knife, which I don't have all the perks for, so I haven't tried yet. It is a, a little silly looking, but, you know, that's a personal choice. If you think that's cool or you'd want to use that, you have the option. I don't care for it much myself. I'd stick to using a laser or a flashlight, but there's a decent variety here, and they can be turned on and off, so you can actually use it as a flashlight, which is a good detail. You can, which is kind of cool, you can change the level of zoom when you're using this, so I've just had it at the one times, but we could, let's crank it up to 150 and see what that looks like. Yeah, so a decent zoom-in. I don't much care for the high zoom-in, especially using a pistol, but it does allow you to choose whatever you prefer. So the variety is nice and letting you fine-tune the distance of zoom there. So if that's something that you care about, you get the option here, which is very nice. And then it has a damage modifier to match up to however you have your game set up. So things die really easily. You could turn down the damage a little bit, or if you have things being a lot tankier, you could just turn up the damage as well. So, as I said, there's not a ton of customization, but the base handgun is very nice. I really like the look of it. I love the animations. I think it's just really well done. Um, this is definitely my new favorite pistol that I have found in quite some time, and I will probably be using it as my sidearm for yeah, probably most playthroughs until another nice one comes out. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely think it's worth giving a try, and thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.